sub douches. So I'm gonna put in the thingy today, tomorrow, but I'm I'm going to Korea. Also, God, I don't want to do this. So stupid. Obviously, that's not my stomach. This is all I can jiggle. That's all I can jiggle. And they actually tell me most of that is skin. And I'm like, well, when I get down to like a buck 80, then I'll talk about like getting the skin removed. Until then, we'll just go ahead and call it, I have to lose more fat. All right? I'm not doing a want to see my feeties right now. So fucking stupid. She's so fucking stupid. I did that because... Believe it or not, the reason why I don't give a fuck what Uchiliki, who's one of Tiffany's paid actors or whatever the fuck... Technically, there is multiple, and I don't mean the FBI thing, there is multiple government paperwork, we'll just call it that, on my side and her side. I'm supposed to say that I'm going there for business. I'm going to Korea. I'm supposed to say I'm going to Korea for business and family issues. Now, I'm only going for business. When I had to explain to Linda why I'm going to Korea, she goes, Oh, come on, man. Really? You're still doing that bullshit? I'm like... I have to go to the kimchi premium. At the very least, I have to get this thingy set up because oh, I'll get to that in a second. You guys ever see the wizard? You know the wizard with the Jimmy? You know how, like, he's playing the thingy, and everyone, like, is getting ahead of him? He's like, the warp zone time! Crypto Arbin is the warp zone. I was thinking to myself, what if I set off going to Korea until, like, next year? Or what if I do it in, like, September? Or maybe, you know, January? No, 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 no. I'm just going to get that shit out of the way as fast as possible. That way I can come back as fast as possible and be done with all of that bullshit. And I started that job at the power plant July 4th, 2010. By September, I was back in school. September 2010, I was back in school. July 2014, I left. I graduated from power plant. 2020, I got the crypto that made me a millionaire, bajillionaire in 2021 without Bitcoin. Four years later, I'm going to set up crypto Arbigan so I can finally use my Bitcoin. Before I knew what the fuck a girl's generation was, I was sitting at the power plant doing math and trying to figure out how to get a bunch of money so by the time I'm 40, I can like live at large and be super awesome and all that bullshit.
of silver I have, eh? I'm about to get paid, and I've got 2000 hitting my bank, and I paid my state taxes. I'm not paying federal taxes until next year. I'm not paying student loans until next year, which is why I hope there's a way for me to not have to quit to do all this, because I kind of just started, and it would be nice, but if this goes right, I won't have to work ever again. I still don't have to work right now. I would keep my job for at least, or a job like this, I would keep working for at least another 10 years just so I could like have it on my record. And because I think that it's the easy way to get your hands on technology to learn and all that bullshit. But it's definitely time for me to start doing my own thing. I've been planning the kimchi premium since before I even got Bitcoin. I was like preparing to like be a bajillionaire and fuck up super hot Asian bitches all the time. Anyways, I think what Stephanie, me young rap whore, Asian smut whore, is trying to say is that I'm the other guy and that all that bullshit. And that she probably ended up getting married to Kevin Micropenis Nish. And that she had to like, which when she says she broke up with him, she probably means divorced him finally. I don't give a shit. Why the fuck... Whatever, look, and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, the very nice older lady who was in charge of my thingamajiggy, her name was also Stephanie, so I guarantee you her and Stephanie bonded, and because I was trying to get the money back, and I thought that they were still going to do that, I said something stupid like, I bet... You and Stephanie and the CEO of Sublime will have a good old chat about fashion and shit like that. And then they actually sent people to Sublime to make sure that chat happens. And Stephanie's response was Moschino wearing a ribbon around her tits. I'm assuming... Kevin Nish has no problem pimping you out to other dudes and shit like that. Why would he? He pimps you out to Babyface and Rick Tosser. I don't know what any of this needed my money for. And I don't know why my employers, the main con the main employer of mine. Why do they feel that this is a family dispute, is what they think it is. They think that me and Stephanie are having a family dispute. And I said, but I don't even talk to my family. So, the way, you can ask, Victoria Justice, you can ask the chain of command, however you want to do it. The way I do, the way I deal with problems in my family is I make a bunch of money and then I throw it, throw it at the problem until it goes away. So, the easiest way to make a bunch of money is to crypto arbitrate. I can make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a day crypto arbitrating once I set up kimchi premium bullshit or I can make like five thousand dollars a week by consulting it seems like the best business choice is just to set up the crypto arbing and then come back and do consulting or hopefully do it while I'm over there whether I pass or whether I fail at the very least there's documented evidence that for the past three four months well, everyone's been yelling at me and calling me things that Stephanie does to me. I've been ignoring it and just studying. 
and if I don't pass, it's because the trauma they caused for me, I, blah, 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 not that I didn't study. So if I need to pass an audit, I can pass an audit. There's verifiable. You don't have to be perfect. You just got to have something to verify and validate your side of the story. I couldn't have done that. I was at home studying the whole time. Is that true? Based on this, this, and this? Yes, I was. Did you pass? Oh, you know what? I did. Got close. Uh, doesn't matter. We can prove that you weren't doing all that bullshit they were trying to accuse you of. I have never once gone out of my way to talk to Stephanie. Stephanie was engaged, probably married, to Kevin Nish when I was fooling around with her. I am going to burn Disney plus Korean studios to the ground when I legally buy its property from crypto arbitration money, salt the earth, and then build a library on top of it dedicated to Korean ingenuity and the turtle ship that Admiral, whatever the fuck his name was, did it. Goria, you all need discipline. You need to get back to studying. No more finger popping and dancing. Playtime is over. Recess is over, Korea. Go back to studying. Recess is over, Korea. Don't believe me? Look at Stephanie. That's what happens if you recess too much. Lack of discipline. You don't understand. I already tried to do the paperwork. And I put down reasons for going. This has the Korea is having their, for the rest of this year. It's the completion of everyone come to Korea and visit us. We're having a tourist fun time here. So Korea is like, come on, what's taking you so long? On my side, I have to do paperwork because whatever they talked about while they were talking about fashion with Stephanie and the CEO, whatever the fuck, and the thingy that on my side ended up getting adjudicated. Finally, whatever they were talking about means that I'm supposed to put down I, I have to put down on my side that it's business and family. But I don't even talk to my family. Stephanie's been yelling at me for two years. For two fucking years. Saying she's going to explain it and she never explains it. And instead she's been getting pimped out to a bunch of douchey fucking losers. You know, you guys don't understand. You guys don't understand. We'll do the, we'll do the Python one. There's a reason why Musashi is studied by all the best businessmen of the world. The sword was the tool of ancient times. We're not animals. We're not barbarians. Right? We don't go around just, you know, hunting pythons in Silver Spring that shouldn't even be there. Searching for SD cards that shouldn't be there. So that way air gap systems can be hacked into that shouldn't be able to. We don't do that. Instead what we do, is because we're civilized, we take those principles and we apply them to the business world. That's why all of the best businessmen in the world study the Book of Five Rings. So, when I say Fraggle Rock with my eyes closed and all that bullshit, when I say Fraggle Rock with my eyes closed, when I say Fraggle Rock with my eyes closed, I'm talking about with the greatest weapon known to man. The greatest weapon ever invented. The only weapon that God is afraid of. And do you know what that weapon is? Compound interest. Because even God has got to pay rent every now and then. How else does he pay for the pearly gates? So, alright. You want to make it family for some fucking reason? My family hates me.
good fucking reason. I remind them of everything they could have done. Because they always said, you should do this. And I said, why? Uh, because it's good for you. But you don't do that. Stop questioning me! Okay. Okay. Business. I want to go to Korea for business. No, you want to go to Korea for business and family. No, I want to go to Korea for business. No, you want to go to Korea for business and family. Okay. Okay. I will go to Korea for business and family. My business is going to be destroying your family. Legally, with taxes and addendums and 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 all the fucking tariffs and all that bullshit so everyone is happy i want to have everyone excited when i metaphorically musashi the fuck out of everyone in your family <laughs>